Most African Americans speak ghetto. But when it comes to black people, I think they're all ugly and I have nothing in common with them. I'm different from African Americans because I'm white. I believe that I'm completely and um, utterly better than them. Like, we're on two different levels. Like, okay, African Americans are here, I'm here. White people act and think just way more mature than African Americans. Black people, they think in a criminal way. When I think about African Americans, I feel like asking them, what is wrong with them? They're really dangerous. If African American is on the same street as I am, I'll cross the street to avoid their chaotic, thuggish ways. I tell my mom, I'll never be like any of those Negroes. African Americans are loud, rude, obnoxious, and just all together fat and ugly. White is right. White power. My mom bought me beautiful white dolls instead of buying me the ugly, big lip black doll. I was not anything like other black people. They were all hood rats and they were all ghetto. They all act like monkeys. It made me feel good to put down an African-American person because it helps them stay in their place. All the African-American kids that I was around were all ugly looking and losers. They're all gorillas. Black people are gang, gang members. I don't have nothing to do with them. They're criminal and they're thugs. I said black people are pigs. Yeah, of course, if an African-American walked into any of these stores, I feel like people have the right to refuse service. And I feel like they would probably steal something, so of course they should get asked to leave, most definitely. The place I'm in, it just takes my breath away. We haven't seen literally any African-Americans here, which is such a like positive, good thing. So well, as you can see, her hair literally looks like it's a sponge. If you put your hands in her hair, it would you probably lose a finger. The smell is just like so overwhelming, like I just want to die. And it's way too many African Americans. That's probably some of the reasons why it smells. African Americans are more known to actually commit crimes than Caucasian people. So, I mean, you never know with them. They have giant lips. Their noses are really, really big. And they're just like really ghetto. It's like completely disgusting how ghetto they are, like honestly. Like where do they come from? This is the reason why they're called monkeys in the first place, because they don't know how to act. I could never live in this filth and among all of these African Americans and among all of these people who clearly have absolutely no class. African Americans just, they ruin everything good. When I wake up in the morning, I just have such a great life and that my hair is so perfect, my skin isn't ugly, and I'm not fat also, which is also a really African-American thing. So like, I'm just nowhere near like them. And plus they're so thug and criminal that I can't relate. I don't take hood rats serious at all. So I don't, I'm not gonna even pay her any mind. If I've been white since the day I've been born, then I'm still white now, and I will be white every day I wake up. Most mm -hmm. definitely. There's nothing out here that can change my opinion, not some hood rat telling me, you don't know what you're talking about, or not, not you, Dr. Phil. No, nope. I don't believe in going in a room full of s I would never do something like that. And for Seeing a black person is like going to the zoo. You only want to go there a few times, but if you go there all the time, you, you know, know everything you, you that goes can, on. You, well, ask, actually, I put my family on a higher level than I put African Americans, because they're so low that I would never put my family there. Like, I would never want them to actually be on the same level as African Americans. But your mother's African American. Well, I mean, supposedly, but, you know, I'm not going to put her on the African-American level. I don't know, because then but I will treat them African like they're... I mean, if they want to be African-American, then that's where they go. You know, that's what African-American people do. They go to jail. See, I feel like black people should just be put in a different place. Let's say that, because I'm not going to say anything too extreme, because I know they're around and you'll, they get all angry and stuff. And black okay. people are very okay, chaotic. Well, well, I believe African-Americans don't really have feelings, and <laughs> don't care. Do I mean, stereotypes are stereotypes for a reason. Someone had to make them up, you know? Someone actually had to look at a black person and say, wow, you're really fat. It's a black stereotype. Almost all black people have diabetes. All of them are fat and overweight. I have diabetes. You guys act like you've never heard people say this before. It's just because I'm going to step. I'm actually going to say what everyone else is thinking because it's the truth. But I'll say it. I'll if you, say it. If you disagree with what she's saying, stand up. All of them are liars. All of them are liars. And behind closed doors, they type the same thing as me. They're just quiet about it. That's it. And you can hear by the reaction in the crowd, some of them are African-Americans, because I can hear the fact that it's getting real loud in here. You need some help big time.